now, more with Pete Hegseth and David Goodwin, authors of the new book, Battle for the American Mind, Uprooting a Century of Miseducation. In the book, you suggest that many evangelical Christian schools today believe they're teaching Christian education, but they still have progressive influences. Tell us more. Well, when John Dewey took over the school system, it was believed by most people in 1915 to be a Christian school system in the United States. And so as he shifted, as Pete was earlier talking about, shifting away from Christianity and towards sort of an American paideia devoid of God, they took Christianity out and created subjects like social studies. But by 1950, many Christian schools were just teaching the same subjects that uh, public schools were teaching, sociology, um, social studies, those sorts of things. And so um, they added some Bible classes and, and some prayer, but they really were still teaching a progressive curriculum. So what we're advocating in the book is to move back towards that original curriculum, which puts Christ at the center of all things. And you guys talk about classical Christian education, CCE, as the appropriate response, the alternative to public education. Tell us more about that. How can concerned parents send their kids to classical Christian schools? And I'm thinking, Pete, at a time of skyrocketing inflation when many Americans have mm -hmm. to choose between putting gas in the tank or food on their tables, how can they afford it? First of all, look look inside your life and the things you spend money on, the things you value, and how much is the, uh, the hearts, souls, and affections, how much are your kids' uh, affections worth in your mind? Then I would say, compared to most Catholic schools, private schools, Christian schools, certainly elite schools, classical Christian is far more affordable. And David can talk a lot more about it since he runs the largest association of K through 12 schools. There are also homeschooling options. There are online classical Christian options. We, we cannot afford at all to default to the local public school because you're effectively sending your kids to, to what we call Democrat camp, or at least left wing camp. Uh, for 40 hours a week, and you're trying to deprogram them on uh, Sunday morning and on Wednesday night. Right. Our organization is largely a support organization that uh, provides uh, parallel infrastructure for classical Christian schools like accreditation and that sort of thing. But I would say that our average school is about $7,500 a year in tuition, which uh, puts a number on it. But obviously, it's more or less depending on which school you're dealing with. And I think that... Um, there's other alternatives, uh, like Pete mentioned, uh, co-ops or shared what we call shared instructional models, where your kid may be in school for two or three days a week, and those generally cost even half of that. What's the takeaway from this one? What do you want people to understand and do? Take action. The time is now. First and foremost, do what's best for your kids and your grandkids by radically reorienting your life around their education. The book is... Battle for the American Mind, Uprooting a Century of Miseducation. I recommend it. I've read it. It's wonderful. Pete Hegseth, David Goodwin, thank you for sharing your time and insights. We appreciate it. Gary, thank you. Thank you very much.